Hello again and welcome to another edition of Suds and Country. Hi, I'm Herb Suds and welcome to the show. Today we're in Montclair, New Jersey at the Israel Crane House. And Leach is next to me. She's the executive director and she's going to tell you what we can expect to see in the house and more about the museum and society. Um, we're at the Israel Crane House Museum, as you mentioned. It was built in 1796. It's one of two historic house museums that we operate. The other is Evergreens, built in 1896. The Israel Crane House was originally on Glen Ridge Avenue, also in Montclair. It was moved here in 1965 by a group of people to save it from demolition. It originally stood on 86 acres of land. Um, Israel Crane built the house when he was 21 years of age. His family was ori the original settlers here in 1694. Mm. The, the town was actually called Crane Town up until 1868. Yeah. There's a little history. We're going inside to take a look what Israel Crane had to live with. Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> We're upstairs. We're okay. in one of five bedrooms on the second floor. Okay. As I mentioned before, Israel lived here with his wife and they had five children and then James lived here with six children. So the house was always fairly full of, of kids it's and young true. families. Um, this bedroom is right off of the master bedroom so it probably would have been used by the younger children so they would have been close to the parents. Up here you'll see a few details when the house was built. Most of the rooms have closets which was pretty innovative for 1796. Yeah, yeah, um, interestingly enough, they don't look like our closets today because the hanger wasn't invented until later in the 1800s. What did you do? How did you Pegs do? along the Peg? back of the okay. wall uh, to hang your clothes. They also would have had a lot of less clothes than we do today. So they're significantly smaller than our homes today. Pretty cool. Um, the floors you'll see are either painted, which this right. floor is, or it would have been covered with a floor covering because wood was so plentiful and cheap. Right. Um, it wasn't very impressive to have hardened floors like it is today. Yeah. So you would try to make it look prettier, either by painting it or putting down some kind of floor covering. But they're all wide plank, too. They're all very wide plank, 12, 16 so inches. Right. That, that was the style thing. back then. Right. Now you can't get anything, you know, three mm, inches. Yeah, right. That's it. Wide. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, so yeah, so it has a lot of interesting details. Again, all the bedrooms mm. have fireplaces for the central heat. This room is all maple um, furniture, that kind of thing, which would have been typical, you know, of, of the time period. Four-poster bed, canopy? Four-poster canopy bed, yes, very elaborate, very elaborate. We're in a master suite. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the suite that you're used to today. Um, again, this, because the house was built in 1796, this was the largest of the bedrooms upstairs, and it's not significantly large, um, but it is larger than any yeah. of the other bedrooms. In here, you get to see an exposed wall of how the house was constructed. Right. It was built all by native uh, rock in the area. Crane had interest in a rock quarry in Newark, okay. and so rock was fairly easy to get at that time. Um, so it was, it's solid stone, top to bottom, wow. and then covered covered in a wood clapboard, which was typical of the time. They actually didn't know that it was solid stone until they went to move it mm. in 1965. Wait. And uh, figured that out pretty quickly. Yeah, <laughs> no wait. It was brought here on a tandem truck down Bloomfield Avenue, so uh, it, it, took a, it took a little while. Okay. Israel and, F and Fanny, who was his wife, lived here okay. until around 1840, and then James and his wife, Phoebe, took over the house, so they also took over the master suite. And there's a painting in here of James mm. Crane, the, mm. uh, the youngest son that took over the main he house. He said the Cranes lived here until 1902. Yeah. Yes, his wife, James and Phoebe, actually lived here. Uh, James was 15 years older than Phoebe, and he died right. earlier, about right. 15 years earlier, actually. Phoebe continued to live in the house until 1902. With their children. With their children and grandchildren at that point. Um, and then when she passed away, the home became a rental property. Okay. And then the uh, YWCA of Montclair, which was an African-American chapter of the YWCA, um, they took over the house and used it as a social center and dormitory space until 1965 mm -hmm. when we took over the house. Right. Quite a history behind this house. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, thanks. We're at the museum shop. Yeah, this is one of the homes that it's on the property. It was originally a residence um, built in 1717 and then remodeled in 1832. Okay. We took it over in the 80s and made it our museum shop where we saw a retail gift shop, that kind of thing. This part of the building that we're in is a permanent exhibit of a general store from the 1800s. Okay. There's about 800 different objects in here that came from a general store in Terrytown, New York. Okay. And it was installed here really as a replica of Israel Crane's muse uh, general store here in Montclair. He was the first general store merchant, really the first businessman in Montclair, when he opened his general store in 1796. So this is kind of a model of the type of things that you would find in a general store. E basically soup to nuts, everything from food products, glassware, um, toys, uh, clothing, cloth to make your own, uh, your own clothing. Ceramics, anything that you can get in a modern kind of department this, store is one stop this, shop. This is the Walmart of the, the 1800s. Walmart of 1800s, yeah, and actually, <laughs> and even you, credit was extended much like it is today. Uh -huh. A lot of families uh, subsisted on having credit with their right. local general store merchant, much okay. like we use our credit cards. This is pretty cool standing around in the middle of all this, uh, well, 
There's a lot in this room, I'll tell you that. You have a lot of stuff going on here. It was chucked full, and it was really yeah. busy during spring and fall I'll when bet. people would come in and trade goods, that kind of thing. I'll bet. Well, Alicia, we're upstairs here reading, writing, and arithmetic. Yeah, this is a replica schoolroom from the 1800s. It's a permanent exhibit here at the Israel Crane House. Okay. It's on the second floor of the museum shop. Uh, most schoolrooms were one-room schoolrooms, one floor. Yeah. Actually, Montclair did have a schoolroom that was two stories, and this replicates that, the second floor being used for community events, speeches, that kind of thing as a gathering place. Um, we talk here to our school groups as well as to, public, to the public that comes for a tour of the Crane House about early education in Montclair, what they would have learned uh, when public taxation came in to pay for schools. Montclair did have school room as early as 1760 um, and then for almost the next hundred years that was all private. You paid tuition for your children to go to school which meant that girls stayed home very often and the boys only really came to school when they didn't have farm chores. So school was a lot uh, fewer weeks, 10 to 12 weeks tops wow. per year. That wasn't much. Not a lot. No. Now, do you have, how often do school kids come up here actually and, and uh, get the education up here? How often? And well, where do they come from? They come mainly from Montclair, Montclair, but we do get surrounding towns as well. Yeah. Um, anywhere between September through June, we do two or three school tours a week wow, in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Right. A little education, huh? Yeah, they, it's a big change for them what their school rooms look <laughs> <I'll> like. <bet. laughs> okay. Well, Alicia, time to wrap up this edition of Southern Country here in this reading, writing, and arithmetic. Tell us uh, more about the museum and how you can get a hold of you and the website and all that. Um, for most current information, go to our website, montclairhistorical.org. The Crane House Museum is open for tours Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m., and Sundays from 2 to 5. Okay. We're in Montclair, New Jersey with the museum.